As with the 8 hour sleep challenge video, I started with the what's in it for me. And I was led to this article, courtesy of Google. Like, is anything new? Anyway, I linked this article in the description should you wish to check it out on your own convenience. And recalling my experience with push-ups, I was a fat kid who've had many physical education classes throughout his childhood and teenage years. And let's just say that push-ups are the single most hated exercise of mine. I mean, I was overweight, and exercising using body weight at that weight is not the best feeling in the world. We'll see how it goes. Like, what difference would it make if I actually document my journey? What's up, everyone? I'm about to start the push-up challenge, which I'm taking in conjunction to the plank challenge. Usually, as with most push-up challenges, they would do one set a day. For 30 days and that would be for a specified number of repetitions for me i'll keep it simple since i'm just starting i'll start with 10. now what would i do differently so i would actually only exercise for four days a week mm -hmm. and i would spend the, the three days for rest and in each day that i will be exercising i would be performing two sets so that's 20 push-ups a day but I would actually not do it all at once. I would do it in 10, like in groups of 10. So this is like a high intensity interval training kind of thing. So that's basically what you need to know. Let's get started. Things first, the proper position. Now again, I'm new at this, so it may or may not be wrong, but I like to start by lying down on the floor flat and then face forward, arms near the armpits, and then some yoga poses here and there just to um, straighten everything up and I go to town 1002 1003 1004 oh 1005 1006 1007 1008 so that's what my hair looks like 1009 1010 oh, god I can feel it in this voiceover so I just finished my first set of push-ups. It wasn't as horrible as I thought it would be. Maybe because of the plank challenge that I took, it helped me prepare for the mobility part. So, so much uh, the planking uh, challenge has prepared me for the form. The mobility is what's challenging, but I have a feeling that uh, my body will somehow ache tomorrow, but not enough to... Um, bring this challenge to an abrupt halt. I feel like I could still go. So my body did ache, especially the sides, like this part right here, and this part. So the sides really ached when I moved, but I actually rested just for about 24 hours. And then I will resume today. I just finished 20 push-ups. It, it was hurting, but it's very tolerable. I feel, I, th I think I've felt this before, I've experienced this before, so I'll keep on going tomorrow. But of course, I know my body very well. I know very well when I cannot, and at this point, I can. So, just setting of expectations, even though you've done the plank challenge in preparation for this, you would still feel a bit of, you know, th those first day aches. My body is still aching, but it's a lot milder compared to yesterday. I was able to go through the exercise fairly easily, and I feel like I did it um, with more ease today compared to yesterday. The pain is now gone, and I'm actually tr um, picking myself up easily after each workout. I feel like if I'm not making this video, this would be the point where I would procrastinate and wait until the last minute or maybe not even do the exercise anymore because I, it's, um, it's not the best feeling and it's, it's, it's a lot of work. So good thing I am doing this video for you and I hope you stay with me so you, um, we can see this through together. First workout for week two. And the uphill um, trend is still ongoing, though the first um, planks after 
the push up would still hurt so um yeah so th this is a good start to week two here i am again after 20 push-ups so i'm still at the part where i am concentrating on maintaining the proper form i'm still struggling with that um mainly with the legs part i'm trying to keep my legs straight and strong as well as my core because all of the work is um with the arms and the chest i just try to keep everything else as tense and straight as possible so i really like how this exercise gives you what you deserve and what i mean by that is say for example you cheated on some days you had too many calories or ate too much dessert then by your next workout you would definitely feel all the extra weight so i i like how it kind of tells you like you can have fun but you'll have to own up to the consequences so something depressing really happened to me last week something so depressing that i actually decided to not do the challenge for a whole week just to get my mind in the right place now i'm back in the game so i just had to take a week off just to get all of that depressing energy out of my system and when i get got back i can see that my legs um is starting to catch up keeping my legs steady and strong for the duration of the exercise is getting easier however my arms are still yet to be, get accustomed to the extra work they're being put on so it's my second day at redemption it's good to be back exercise really does um release happy hormones i am getting all of that depressing energy right off of me so oftentimes we do exercise just to look good physically but let us not forget that exercise could also make us feel better emotionally. I still struggle with maintaining the proper form. However, I do notice that this body of mine is getting a bit stronger. I notice how it can kind of manage um, <clears throat> lifting this overweight body of mine. So my arms and legs can basically do that now. So yeah, it's a good feeling, getting stronger every day. I noticed how I seem to neglect proper breathing while doing the exercise. And it's actually easier if you would synchronize your breathing with your movement. I'm not actually sure how it should go, but you kind of inhale with a push and then exhale with a pull, or maybe it's the other way around, but you get the point. It'll make the exercise so much easier if you're able to synchronize breathing with your movement. Remember that breathing thing that i mentioned earlier it is so much easier to get into rhythm if you synchronize your breathing with every movement in my case i exhale when i push down and then i inhale when i ascend so like push and then well of course it's a silly way of showing you but that's how I managed to get into the rhythm. I find that I exercise much more successfully at night when it's much cooler. I may be wrong, but the heat is kind of exhausting me faster than usual. You may or may not agree with me, but environment really does play a big role in your willingness to exercise. I just have no choice because I cannot do it in any other time of the day. But I really want to exercise when it's cooler, preferably at night. But as a remedy, I actually wore my dry fit shirt from Uniqlo, not sponsored, just so I don't like drench myself in sweat. So there, environment matters guys, environment matters. If you prefer to exercise at night or generally when it's cooler but have no choice but to do it in the morning like me, then I found that closing your windows and if you have an air conditioning unit, you could turn it on at, for at least like 30 minutes or an hour before you exercise. It naturally cools down the room. So you could imitate that um, cool setting even though it's morning. That's what's Woo! working for you. It's finally over. So this session for today actually overlapped with next month's session. In case I forgot to mention, this push-up challenge will take six months. Therefore, six videos will be um, comprising the series with each month more challenging than the last. 
So, I just can't believe it's over. Uh, some thoughts? Well, of course, now there is no pain after performing the push-up. And now, I have rhythm. I've learned how to synchronize my breath with every movement. Before I let you in on my final thoughts, I should say that I actually listened from week one up until the end of week four. And my biggest takeaway was that even though what I'm doing was quite repetitive in nature, there was always something new to learn in every session. Tiny details that don't seem much in hindsight, but actually add up over time. And that ends the video. Did you like it? Well, let me know in the comments and give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more content like this, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.